when when the um, the minister of finance mentioned about the recruitment, I was very much excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they said that they are going to recruit against the southern Jazz workers, I was very much excited, and I was expecting. As they are saying, the 23 national budget, and when the national budget starts in in January, in January. So mm -hmm. why are they delaying? Because the other recruitment, the way it happened, they advertised and it had planned for about three months to four months, or three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's close. It's about a month already. Mm -hmm. Then if, if I calculate, we calculate because we have got a group in okay. on WhatsApp okay. where we are and not one or two. Yeah, so WhatsApp, you have the WhatsApp group of how many people? One thousand twenty-five. Yeah. And they are two, not one. One thousand twenty-two. One thousand twenty-two. No, no, twenty-five because they are off. Okay, whatever. One thousand twenty-five. One thousand twenty-two is neither here nor there. So these are unemployed health workers. Yeah, we are in the group. Okay. So in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are saying that when we, someone suggested, someone simply said, I think let's try to do a peaceful protest so that you can, they can know that these people will want the employment. Mm -hmm. Then from there, it was just on WhatsApp. We are a lot on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So we cannot know, maybe uh, there are some people there who are just have other intentions. So we are like, uh, okay, those who are um, serious to protest, let's start contributing the money so that um, we can finance the protest. For example, to come back to my team mm -hmm. So those who are not serious, we are not contributing. So we formed the other group. Mm -hmm. Of serious protesters? Yeah. So how many are you, the serious protesters now? Yeah. Eight. Yes. Okay, so the, the ones who paid 10,000 kwacha, 10 kwacha, 10 kwacha, oh sorry, 10 kwacha, okay, to protest. So you raised 800 kwacha, in short. And so this is the serious group out of the 1,000. Yes. But we are coming from different areas, so what we do did, we said, okay, we are going to write a letter to the minister, mm -hmm. we are having one letter, the other guy will end. just, you know, having, I think he'll just accept. We wrote a letter. I'm going to write a letter because myself I was the chairman. Okay. Then herself she was the treasurer. Okay. They always try to you know what the people do think that you know, maybe you're going to be paying money on you want to for the the purpose. So we structured properly. We had to take the second card and the key bond. Let's put it down. Let's put it in the middle to capture everyone. Okay. Let's see. So that's how when we did everything, we got the paperwork, the letters, the letters for you, find the envelopes, mm -hmm. those who are going to the police, like to have the letter of um, not finding the thing, we are stamped, mm -hmm. we give them when they want the money, we are going to get out. Since you are staying just Stick on, mm -hmm. yeah, since you stay in just on, we are going to give you at least 50 water for sure. Mm -hmm. Then just that like, you give in, even lunch, that's how we. It. So what I want to tell you, I want to be told exactly. That's what we are doing here, as in for us. Mm -hmm. When are they going to advertise? Mm -hmm. That's that's what, that's one thing that we wanted to know. When are they going to advertise? Mm -hmm. So um, you belong to different sectors. You you there's a nutritionist here, there's a nurse, and you yeah. I'm also a nurse. You're also a nurse, and I'm sure you have other members are what. Some were medical doctors, some were pharmacists, some were a lot of them were clinical. Okay. So now, uh, all of you have associations, isn't it? You belong to associations yes. that represent your issues. Yes. Am I right or wrong? For uh, for us, for me, for me now, I don't. I'm not. I don't belong to any uh, apart from mental health and association. So it's an association, mental health association. You belong to them, isn't it? Yes. So all of you have where you come from, nursing council, nursing association, doctors, junior doctors association, if you are senior, seniors doctors association. So um, all this time, you have not engaged them to find out what's happening concerning recruitment? No. Nobody has spoken to you? No. Because okay, the even on your forum where you are over a thousand of you, nobody talks about what has been happening, those who... There are people, those kind of um, sentiments were coming in there. People would say, oh, let's engage these people. Now, the debate was among the people who are protesting, yes, those who are paying. 
Mm -hmm. they, are, they are coming from different mm -hmm. areas. They were saying, yeah, no, why do you want to include the rest of the doctors from Zambia? You know, themselves they are getting paid. Those people, they won't even speak on us. More especially when they saw the way the time we reacted mm -hmm. to the post. They were like, no, don't include them. Those people, they get paid. Some they would even say, like, no, this is their, their 40, nobody in number something of that kind. So, now we are ready for us. Then they are saying, no, we should not protest us, we are suffering. So we are not, we are, we are failing to engage them. But why didn't you come to engage the minister or the PS or the director responsible for administration directly? Since you are saying the associations that are representing you, you decided not to listen to them. So why didn't you come directly? Or why didn't you write a letter directly to any one of us? We didn't have that access. Access to what? To see the minister, to the secretary. Even to write a letter? The letter is we were at, we were at that idea. Like so why didn't you write? The letter we got, it's just that the guy who lent me off the post came to me. We were thinking that the day of protest, you know, come and give you the letter. No, but that's not the way you discuss issues. You don't come to protest. You come with a letter or you come with a story, isn't it? Is, am I right or wrong? Yes. So do you yourselves think that your method of approaching us is correct? Honestly, in your own heart, and you are supposed to be our doctors, our nurses, our physicians, whatever. And in your mind, you have not engaged the minister. The minister is difficult, I agree. You have not engaged the PSs, which are not big offices, which are representing your interests. You have decided that those are eating, we should not go to them. Somebody tells you, no, let's just protest. So this protest, did you go to the police to get a permit to say you want to protest? We just not fight them. You know, you not fight them. Yes. When was that? The test was six. Six. Yes. Because we we, we said twenty six of July. July. Yes. And so what did, did they respond? They just called us. Uh -huh. they, okay, they called me uh -huh. that we should go to the, to meet them. Then when we we went, mm -hmm. they were saying at that you should add the time of the protest. We are just saying zero eight hours. So you should also include from zero eight hours mm -hmm. to this so that we so that we can now support you. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I it was the group work. I went back to the group at all. They have said this. Mm -hmm. So needed I needed some other man because mm -hmm. yeah, I traveled. From where? Yeah. I was I, I stayed in Pietra so mm -hmm. I was like yeah, guys I need another money to go there. So when I went there to see the police officer I was told that no, yes, but other time it's not there. It's not there? No. So it, it was hard for me again to start going there, but, but I went after two days. Mm -hmm. Then I lost the weight. He wanted us to fly it. Then he told, he told me that no, the date is okay. The date is not okay. So I'm like this, change the date since the date was for last time. Okay, that's again, old application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, when I had gone back, people in the group were like, yeah, but. It's just the date. Since they have put a date stamp and they have said, mm, but as, as for now, the way it is, you can go ahead. Let's just go ahead. Again, we start hosting transport going there. So you, you see the group work. So I was like, yeah, anyway. So group just, work includes. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, no, I can't start telling a special again to send the money. She think as if. You, I'm you, just yeah, trying to lose the money for that thing. Yeah. So what have you got to tell us since now you are here? Got much to say. I mm. think everything has been said. Uh, our main concern um, was when is the advertisement going to? I thought nowadays people use even social media, <laughs> and the Minister of Health is on Facebook. Why didn't you use the Facebook to ask a question so that they are responding to you? Why didn't you use the Facebook? Because this is social media time now, and we are the young ones using. This. So why didn't you use the so the, the social media since you say? It was difficult to come here. You didn't know what to do. Now my question is, why didn't you use social media? Even just to write, the president has a page, the minister has a page, the minister of health has a page. So why didn't you put that question? Yes. Mm, after, when we wrote the letter to, to the police to inform them, mm -hmm. what we did, we advertised on media. And then we were you advertise that we have to demonstrate. Yes, yes, and we are expecting to get attention of you because it's not easy 
for me even just here to talk with you just like uh, to meet it's not easy that's difficult is it difficult now <laughs> it's now it's because of the attention you are you, you like because of what we have done oh yes I see. because if we just come here to say we want to meet uh maybe the money said it can be maybe difficult did you ever try no 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 so you have never tried you just yeah. decided it's difficult but to become unruly is the best way yeah. is that what you're telling me not really no I want to understand because I'm interested also to know what kind of people we are going to employ. Remember, you are 1,000, your group. I think the doctors, I don't know how many they are. I don't know how many clinical care people are waiting to be employed. And the number of employment is only 3,000. Last time, last year, when we advertised for 11,000, they were over. I think we had the highest number of applicants yeah. in hundreds thousand, isn't it? So why would I pick a person like yourself who is unruly, leaving decent officers who are trained? Because Ministry of Health is about life. It's about the life of people. It's not Ministry of Minds. It is not Ministry of Sports, where you can become a Esther and a boxer, no problem. You know, this is about life and death of person, of your brothers and sisters who are sick and seeking support from you, the health workers. Now, these are the type of health workers I must employ. Who have not tried, they decided, no, wanted to attract your attention by becoming unruly. Meaning, even when the government employs you, and one month, maybe the government has no money to pay you, what is going to happen? You become unruly because you have a reason, a very good reason for that matter. Now, you are begging for a job from your government to employ you and you behave this way. You will be employed. Isn't this what we are facing now where the public are complaining about our health workers? That we are rude to them, we don't pay attention, we are always on, on the social media, we are not there, we are not present. This is what people are complaining against us now who are in the health sector. Ourselves as nurses and everybody else. Now with this kind of behavior, by you, the health workers, who are not yet employed. Out of the 5,000 people that are out there, and I need 3,000, I should pick you? Will it be right for me to pick you? I want your answer, honest answer. Don't even be afraid, me, I'm your mother. I'm, I'm, you are the ones who voted for me to sit here. So you, you are my bosses. Now tell me yourselves, out of the so many, I should pick the four of you or the eight of you who choose to use a method where you pay money, you go to the police, you have time for all that long process. You have time for that, but you have no time. I get a lot of phones from people on this phone. Ask my officers, they'll tell you that. I don't sleep. They wake 24-7. The president is on on the phone 24 7 communicating with ministers to work so how is it difficult for you to approach us and it's just a simple question when are we going to be employed you decide to demonstrate there are many issues in the ministry of health we have issues of few workers working over time in the hospitals so you are you going to have patient because i have a nurse working in a critical place where they're supposed to be one nurse to two patients but she's looking after maybe eight patients who are critically ill now you are you going to manage to work like that if you don't even have patience to ask just a simple question how come minister of education they are employing has anybody teacher gone there to open them have you had any teacher was going to demonstrate hmm? So what is so special about you that you should use demonstration? The police, there's so much crime in this country. They must be wasting time for you to demonstrate, to come and escort you, when you can just walk here. You head here, people don't walk. I'm sure you hate that I have an open police. How come it is difficult? Every Wednesday, I speak to everybody. 
not just in Osaka, the whole country, through the provinces, through the districts, through the health facilities, including your associations, we discuss policy. Why didn't you come on Wednesday to come and air your, your, your concerns if they were any? I'm also aware that the associations have told me that you've just been funded, some of them, to create confusion. So that's what I'm interested in now to learn from you. Because your story, you, I thought you had a better story to tell us, which we can appreciate. Clearly, you have no story. So why would you put money to demonstrate? What is there to demonstrate? So you have demonstrated, since you wanted to attract our attention. So what next? Because now, I'll be very honest with you, I'm reluctant to consider people like you. In fact, I'm interested in the 80 to know who these are. That you had time to form a side with WhatsApp, put money to demonstrate. In the meantime, you said you are supposed to be volunteers. So what time did you have? So you're not even doing the work that you are volunteering. Eh? I'm a MP myself, and I'm, I've been a counselor. I'm in the community. I know genuine cases. I know genuine cases. That's why I said, no, let's come and have the conversation. Let's hear if you have a real valid point. And I will take it. But there's no valid point here. There's nothing. PS or direct administration, is there any valid point here for the demonstration? Even for writing out to the police. You write out to the police instead of writing out to the minister to the PSO to everybody. If you had shown me proof that you came to his office, he didn't attend to you, mm -hmm. I would have forgiven you very quickly myself and I would have been on him as director responsible because he has an obligation to answer you. That's why we are here. We are here for you. If you had said you had gone to the PS and he has ignored you, I would have been on him. If you told me that no, you wrote to me and the letter is in my office, I have not responded to you. I would have begged you to say, please forgive me, we'll look into your matter. But I'm not doing that. Because I realize that you are the troublemakers. And I'm not about to agree that troublemakers should be put in government. No. Even where you are voluntary, I want you removed from there. Because you could be the people causing us trouble, even in these hospitals. Because you are not there for work, you are there to destabilize. That's what I have concluded myself. Tell me no and convince me that I'm wrong. You have the floor, any one of you. Uh, uh, Please feel free. This is your office, it's not mine. Uh, I would like to apologize to you, the minister, and uh, the entire member of the administrative for our misconduct. We didn't follow the right, the right procedure of us protesting could have uh, come to the ministry or seen the was the permanent secretary or the uh, the administrative but we didn't do any of that we are misguided uh by the advertisement was to come out we can do maybe and apply we tried maybe all areas that was our intentions not anything like tarnishing the, the the reputation no and as with the letter we wrote the letter to you, uh, the minister, concerning the same. We, let, we wrote the letter to you. Just that the person who was holding the letter was having the letter. Uh, the time we were taken, the police wasn't with us. We tried calling him down before we came up here. We tried calling him. It was a bit far. But we wrote the letter. You didn't bring it here. You wrote the letter, but didn't bring it. In yes, we didn't bring it. That's the thing. Madam, you... She has spoken for herself, speak for yourself. You want to speak for yourself. Yes, uh, I apologize for... I don't want you to apologize because I've seated here. No, no, no. No, I, I've been coming from deep from my heart. Okay. I'm really sorry for everything that has happened today. It, it wasn't my intention or our intention to... Speak for yourself. It wasn't my intention to bring confusion or cause disturbances like this but my appeal to everyone is, is that please hear my my plea I'm very sorry for everything that I did for everything that I was involved in uh, you know when um, you are being pressured at home 
we are, we are kept by different people. So, so when you are pressured at home, okay, they did this for you. Like where I stay in my Kenya house, go use transport money for them, going to volunteer at a certain hospital, just Kanyama General. I always use about a 50 quarter every day. So sometimes they can give you, sometimes they don't give you, they, they start calling you names as if maybe it's your fault. But all we wanted, or all I wanted was to know when, so that maybe I can prepare myself financially and maybe to. Yes, Madam Bear. You are the ring leaders, I can tell from your face. So you still yes. tell us. <laughs> Not really. Um, first of all, I apologize because um, when we took this step, uh, personally, I never knew that maybe I'll, uh, I'll injure you. No, you have not injured me. You have injured yourself. Yes. And uh, uh, looking at uh, what uh, the leader was telling us about the the, the, leader? the protest. Which leader? This one. <laughs> mm, yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. As our in, me mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. my intentions were just like um, uh, so. We are like kind of. Um, um, thinking that maybe, okay, our, my own thinking, okay? I was thinking that maybe the recruitment won't take place, mm -hmm. probably maybe it will be next year. Mm -hmm. So how, uh, maybe the, the minister or maybe the permanent secretary can tell us uh, something about this recruitment because there is nothing on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes, otherwise uh, there's nothing else, like maybe like fighting the government, no, that was not even part of my plan. You saw the boss? Just like Sharon did. Just like nah, nah. You speak for yourself because you are the leader. You are the one who incited all these girls to join you. Yeah, you know, put you money. Know. Yes, I'm saying. I'm not you one of the admin. <laughs> no, you're not the admin, but you're the boss for the, the agreement group. They have the push. You are pushing me. You're pushing the government and you think that is how you get the job. Then I want to tell you, you will not get the job. I must tell you here. You will not get the job. Because you are the wrong type of people to take to a hospital. You abandon the patients. That's what you are going to do. You have already shown who you are. Especially you, who is a ring leader. In fact, PS, let them get out from being volunteers. These are troublemakers. So you can speak. Yeah, I think you could have some stuff by saying that we just find the place we didn't have to continue. But otherwise, we just have to do the procedure. Like there's even something like that. And you are working. How come you didn't go even to your officers? You to your leaders where you are working? You asked them. Did you ask them? No. So you are in a facility. You have a facility manager there. You have left that, but you have time to be on social media, you have a lot of time to go to the police, you have time to go all over the shop, but you have no time to go to your supervisors to ask them, you have no time to come to your ministry, no, you don't have time. Even just to send a tax message, minister, when is this recruitment? Or minister, we have this issue. Director, or any officers that work here, we, we didn't have time. We don't have your line, like, yeah. where do I have access? So you think access will be through demonstrations. And by the way, it is your right to demonstrate. Huh? It is your right. Except do it properly. And also, let it make sense. Okay? Let it make sense. Don't unnecessarily create confusion for the police to waste time on you when there's a lot of crime in town. You who is even volunteering, as you claim, Okay, but it is your right. But when your right is done in a manner that becomes disruptive for others, because this time I'm sitting with you, it's a waste of my time for your information. It's a waste of a lot of waste of time. I could be doing something more profitable to the institution. Because this issue is a small issue. So go ahead. 
just, <coughs> just finish now the process itself. And there are a lot of people who are contributing. It's just it's not that they are the leader, but there were a lot of people. Yeah, given me, you ate, have contributed. Yeah, man. That's what you're There are a lot of people even from the other group, those that are 125, they would say, oh, guys, follow that piece. Because that go and demonstrate. That's yeah, what they were telling you. Yeah. There are some people who are like, yeah. Oh, there's oh, that other guy, I think he's a doctor on the board last year. He was demonstrating here. Yeah, so sometimes we would say, ah, you guys, you are really seated thinking that you are not going to get anything or they are going to employ you through WhatsApp. Come out, that's what they were telling us. Come out of your comfort zone. That's why we were demonstrating. We were united. At least they had us and we employ us. Oh, so that is... Uh -huh. So they told you demonstrate. That's how you get employed. I want to show people that those that demonstrate don't get jobs through you. Now, because that's what they told you. Demonstrate. That's how you be employed. Now I want to show you that, that is the wrong, and send a message to young people like you who may be used for wrong things. So you can try next year. Yeah, so I've uh, forgiven you. Try next year for this employment, not you. Let me send a message to everybody out there that demonstration is not the way to speak to people. You come, you write. It's a very simple matter. And this is uh, there's no demonstration to talk about here, but I just want to use you to send a message. Mother, so yes, I'm a mother, but the mother has to discipline children when they are wrong. Sometimes, just like see, she said, I have to discipline my children so that the other children who are good should not behave like you. So you, next year, next employment, you can continue doing your whatever, or you can even stop, I have no problem. Next year, you apply, we shall give you the job, I can guarantee you. We shall but not this one, no. This one, no. Will not. So let me just explain to you, I think just for your information. I don't think you really wanted to know, you, because some people told you, demonstrate. That's the way government hears. We don't hear through demonstration. We hear through coming, through writing letters, through calling us, but not demonstration, when, especially when there's no need to demonstrate. Okay? Last year, we employed 11,000 people. We made promises to some people, and those promises were not fulfilled because the process was not implemented from here. The process was implemented in the districts. I'm sure you will know that we have decentralized. Yes. Okay? Here at the ministry, we don't employ people directly. We employ people through the provinces and the district. But because last year it was a little bit clumsy, we wanted this year to do a better job. But last year, we just went directly to employing people. This year, we are not directly employing people. This year, we are using the 3,000, firstly, to upgrade those that are already in the system. Because we have a lot of health workers who should have been promoted maybe 10 years, some of them 12 years ago. But they were not promoted. So they were employed as intern doctors, for example, maybe seven years or eight years ago. And by now, some of them are senior doctors. But they're still being paid as if they're intern doctors. Same for nurses, same for all the categories of the Ministry of Health Workers. So because of that, many of them are frustrated. I'm sure you'd also be frustrated. You are employed as a driver. You up your game. You are now supposed to be an administrative officer. They even call you an administrative officer, but you are still receiving the salary of a driver. That's what has happened to many of our workers in the Ministry of Health. So, a policy decision was made and announced that this year we are going to use this money to promote those so that they are on their correct positions. And because everybody will be lifted up, there's going to be a vacancy at the bottom. Now that is the vacancy that we are going now to advertise, to recruit those like yourselves. That is the process. Last year, we mainly just employed people, you know, workers and all. This year, we're not just employed. We are first starting to promote. This is a policy decision that we made to help improve 
the workmanship of those that are working so that they don't feel like they're being abused, working for over seven years, no promotion, even when they are consultants. Have you understood that? So that process had to be done properly so that people don't say we have favored that one, me, I've been left out of promotion because this one is coming from my region. All these excuses you like to give. And to do that, the ministry has engaged all the associations under medical, under the health sector. All associations, starting from Zambia Medical Association, the RDAZ, the Residence Doctors Association, the nurses, the nutritionists, the Clinic Officers Association, so all the associations and the Ministry of Health sitting with that director of administration, we have been meeting and agreeing how they are going to do the promotion, who they are going to promote. After they agreed, they agreed this 3,000 to share these 3,000, a certain number has been allocated to doctors, a certain number has been allocated to nurses, to and for the first time, all the professions, because there are some professions that people get trained, but they've never been employed. But we wanted to ensure that even people who say, I did uh, the, uh, what is that, uh, 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 those skills which are never, you know, included, all those now we have tried to cut up them through the association, sitting down with the relevant department in the Ministry of Health. After they did that, they made their presentation to me as minister and my peers and the other people in the ministry. And we looked at what they have done. We didn't change anything. We agreed with the associations. That's why last week or two weeks ago when you wanted to demonstrate, they were surprised. And that's why they abandoned you. They said, why are they demonstrating? Because it's us, their, their representatives, who are speaking for them. So why are they demonstrating? That's why your first demonstration was abandoned. This one where you sent a message, I told everybody, allow them to come. Let them demonstrate it is their right. Let them come and see us. That's why we called you. But I wanted to hear, because I was told, no, somebody is using me. But I said, no, maybe not God is using them. Maybe they are not the right people to employ. Let me find out. Now I found out that no, you have said, you have confirmed nobody is using you. It is your mindset. And I've said that you are too young, not qualified to work under the Ministry of Health. Try police, try other sectors, but not health. Because there, police, they can tolerate you. Maybe even education, no, because you are the wrong type. Because you need to have proper teachers to bring up people's children. Maybe mining is okay for you. Minister of Mind, but not Health. So because I've listened to you, you have no issue. You just thought, like you said, like she said, they told you, us, don't be on social media, just demonstrate that's how we got employed. So oh, employment is through protest, we'll be sending a wrong message. We need to send the right message through you helping your government so that nobody does what you do. Because otherwise we'll cause a disruption. Today you didn't cause any disruption. No. There's no disruption. Actually, when I heard you were here, I said, please keep them. I want to come and address them myself as minister. Many of your friends were coming here, and they've always come. We had that group of 500 from World Bank, and I told them I can't employ the whole 500. I think a smaller number was employed. I told them to try again this year, and this year they will try. They will be employed. Maybe the, all of them this time will manage to finish. You were never employed in the past. How come you're not protesting? How come now? Is it because the President HH has given so much freedom and you're abusing that freedom instead of uh, harnessing it? We never heard of anybody protesting for a job. This is the first time I'm hearing that people are protesting at the Ministry of Health to be employed. I never heard of any protest. And in most cases, there was no process of employment which was widely announced open and transparent, you didn't protest. How come now, when we are more transparent, you are protesting? I think we are wrong ourselves. So we need to change our style of leadership. That's what I think now.
that those who protest for no good reason must not be entertained. And those who protest illegally must also not be entertained. Unless those who have used the legal methods, they've been to us, we have disappointed them, they have written to us, we have never responded to them, they have tried to phone us, we have told them, get off. Yes, we have a good result. But not after all the effort we are making. This team is making an effort to work with everybody. Every week, Wednesday, we meet everybody. We speak to everybody. So there is no reason, except that you are just not the qualities of people that should be in the Ministry of Health. You are a danger to the patients, because you are going to abandon the patients, because you are going to have reasons. It's not possible that you can stay one year without a good reason. You will even have good reason. This time you don't have any reason, because your associations are the ones representing you, could have gone to them, could have come to us. You didn't do that. So cut the long story short, after we have agreed with your representatives, all the associations, and the numbers also of how many doctors are going to be employed have been agreed, and not really suggested by us, because we had our own suggestions, which they turned down, and finally negotiated and agreed. That's how you run government, by talking, isn't it? And agree. So we agreed to the numbers which they agreed. They, we also showed them the value in terms of money which is available in the budget. They were also able to appreciate that. And like normal human beings, they could see that this is the best we could give them. And then themselves said, no, for this year, let's take this. Next year, we see again how we proceed. That's how we work. So this is the short story that I have to give to you. And obviously, the employment has processes. We write to the PSMD for authority to release the resources for us to do the needful. The PSMD also has to write to Secretary of the Treasury to seek the Treasury Authority. This is not Kandemba. This is government, their procedures and processes. Once we are told, go ahead with the advert, then we put the advert. Once the advert is put, luckily for us this time, we have already done the processes. We've already talked to all the associations. We have agreed how many nurses we are going to employ. We've agreed also how many doctors we are going to. We've already agreed on those numbers. So there will be no moving away from those numbers. Another issue, madam, we are not allowing you who lives in Osaka to go to Chisali in a village to go and apply. Doesn't Chisali have people like you who are also trained as nurses? They're there. This time, this country is being governed, governed on the principle of equity. So we're not allowing you people in Osaka to go to Chinsali, to go to Kalomo, to go wherever, to Chibata, to go and get employed there, no. You are the people that once we employ you after three months, you want to transfer, you come back to Osaka. This is the problem that we have. We're not allowing that. You apply where you live. So if your slot for your district is 100 and they, you are 300, we we'll only get 100 of you. The other 200 will not be gotten. That 200 for Chinsali is for the people of Chinsali, not again to take people from Saka and take them to Chinsali. What do you think? Them, they don't want a job like you. They also need a job, isn't it? Isn't it only fair? It's fair. it's fair, isn't it? Yes. So, don't apply to go to Chinsali like what you wanted to go to Ikerenge to go and apply. No, you apply here, where you live. And if the space is there for you, we will take you. Those who live in Kirenge and Chinsali, who, they will apply there, they will be taken in Chinsali. So that we don't have these stories that you are bringing. After three months, your parents start coming here saying, no, my daughter must come back to Lusaka. No, we are not allowing that. So there is decentralization. When we send money to Chinsali, that money is for the people of Chinsali, not people from Osaka to go and become contractors even for small jobs. No. We only cross when we can't find that qualified doctor. When we don't have a consultant in Chinsali, we can take somebody from Osaka and take to Chinsali. That's what we are going to do. You have understood today? Yes. Mm -hmm. And by the way, 
working as a volunteer is not guaranteed this time around because you are a volunteer people have become volunteers not because they want to be but because they, they think it's a gateway to getting a job we are past that time now the issue of volunteers of last year not for this year this year we're employing people on merit yes being a volunteer is an added advantage it's like if you say do you speak english because this is a, a, an english speaking and you said yes i speak english and french then you say ah, this is an added advantage so being a volunteer is just an added advantage it is not a guarantee that because you are a volunteer then you are going to get the job no so only those who are truly committed to being volunteers because we also know some people there bring their relatives to make them volunteers and think that automatically they should employ them it won't be that way any questions she has no question any question any question any question so we agreed huh? yeah. i hope i will not hear that you are causing trouble again yeah. you have a question ask and your face looks familiar to me yes no one says that huh? <laughs> we don't know it's people used to say that part of them <laughs> I, I, your face looks familiar some notorious somewhere <laughs> i've been to somewhere <laughs> yours are we meeting for the first time? Yes. Mm. Okay. Please proceed. I don't think you have a question. You have no question. No. Okay. At least we have uh, heard what you are wanting to hear. We have heard. Yes, how the work the next year is doing. So you apply next year, not this year. Okay? I wanted yes. to know yes, how much they have for me, how much they raised for the demonstration. How much did you raise for the demonstration? About 800. 800 quad. <coughs> Director, I hope anybody has anything to say. Well, it's just strange that uh, now when government is employed, mm -hmm. last year we had over 12,000, over 12,000 unprecedented in this country. And we had over 10 years of no recruitment, meaningful recruitment, and no one was demonstrating. Wouldn't it be that uh, you would actually be grateful to the government that we had 12,000 and this year we have 3,000? These are <coughs> huge numbers. Government alone. Wouldn't it be that uh, we would be more appreciative than even demonstrating. Yes. Because there is hope now. Yes, we have hope. Yes. hope I never might. heard them even make a statement of hope, even when the announcement was made. But I've heard them planning no, to we demonstrate. Have, no, just, then I have hope. Mm -hmm. well, that's what, well, that's what we are thinking. Is when they mentioned the, when, when the mention at the National by 2020, so I was thinking that uh, maybe by January, February, we should be going to start working. Now things just turn something else, and then this is your guys' team. The time some of us we applied last year, we are left out. Then the, the Minister of Finance announced that there will be another set of recruitment this year. Some of us were excited and we had hope to continue living because we knew that we still have a chance mm -hmm. to work with the government. And uh, about what happened today, it will never repeat itself because we have learned so much from you. The other procedures and uh, the elections that are happening in the government, which we never, we, we, we didn't even know. Like for instance, we never, we, for me personally, I never knew that uh, every Wednesday we talk to the public and uh, other steps to take when approaching uh, high offices like yours. Like, and we took the long, long, the worst decision of, of us protesting. Could have consulted more about it then. Maybe would have been guided better. So I hope you are going to guide your other colleagues better. Mm -hmm. And you're going to tell them that as the aid, the minister said, no employment this time until next year, except for the rest. 
We're going to tell them, isn't it? Yes, we are. And we're also going to tell them next time anyone does this no more, we are not to get it. I would have considered you. I, I'm a mother. Even as I make this decision, I make it with a very sad heart that I have a job to do. To make sure that this country does not degenerate in anarchy. Because if I allow this, I'm not helping the government and I'm not helping the people of Zambia. And I'm help, helping my other children who are the same age with you. Yes. You see the point? So I have to use you to send a message to everybody. Because the truth of the matter is the 1,000 of you, not all of you can be employed, even if I wanted. Because the budget is limited to that number. You understand? So in choosing, and all of you are all educated, all of you are eligible. So in choosing, I also have to look at the hearts of the people that we are going to choose. So you, the eight, they must be the first ones to be eliminated. Instead of me promoting this kind of civil service, no. I feel sorry for you and I feel sorry for your families. But that is what life is all about. That's how we learn. That's how we learn. Because if I don't do that, I'll be promoting anarchy. And in discipline among the people who are supposed to be good citizens and especially if I had the whole number to employ I'd have just warned you and I would have still employed you but the number is small and I have to choose the best out of the, the, the number now I cannot pick people like you leaving the good people I think it would be unfair for the government and for the people of Zambia because you are the ones that have to look after patients and patients when they are sick they're not easy to handle. You know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you very much that you were able to come. And you are free. I don't think there's any other issue. I think the issue really is uh, we wanted to interact so that we learn from you. So that you also learn. We have learned. You have also learned. I'm sure you will not repeat this again, at least for the eight of you. I don't think, and I don't think your friends who want to be employed, I don't think they will do it again. They will not. That I know. Unless uh, it's not they themselves, unless there's another force. You have said there's no force, and if it is true there's no force, I don't think they expect any more trouble from you. But we are together, we'll continue working. The next year, you will find favor with the system because you would have learned a lesson. Yes, please. Honorable, you have not put across any word to, uh, I heard there are some, maybe people behind you, they might be workers or fellow students, maybe to be a word of caution to those who are forcing these people to demonstrate. Well, I think that um, uh, this is a lesson to the young people that are looking for employment, especially in government, that discipline is important. It's a prerequisite to get and to get employed. That is point number one. But I think it's also a lesson for us that are in government that maybe our communication is not effective enough. That is the second point. So it's a lesson. The third point also, if there are people behind them, I think that also I can have a word that you are just destroying innocent children these are children with families families that have spent money and to start confusing the young ones to do things that do not help them is actually destroying their lives and their future and i would like to say please leave the young people away from politics because for me this is politics there's nothing to this that's what i mean i've been in this country this this industry long enough I've been in this kind of thing long enough to know when something is natural or something is not natural. Okay? I know that people tell, you know, like, they, they, like she said, no, somebody said, don't just sit here, go and demonstrate. That's how we got our job. That's how people get misled. Now, if that is the message they have, it's important for us to act decisive so that we don't have this kind of situation next time again. 
like I said, one of the things we're doing as a ministry is that we are running a very, very consultative uh, process. And I'm sure if uh, some of our colleagues in the sector were honest enough, they'll tell you that there's no secret in this ministry. Everything we do, we do openly. I think under this administration, under this new PS, um, uh, PSC, uh, Professor Simonga and his team, I've told them to run a transparent, there, there's no secret, there's, there's nothing, because we are public servants. We, this position we are holding is not ours, it's for the public. So what is there for us to hide from them? Because we are working for them. They have sent us to work for them. But we also know that there's a lot of over politicization of anything that is being done. Those that messed up the system are the ones that are creating problems for us. You know, they're the ones that are enticing innocent children to be demonstrating, to be, to be against, even when what we are doing is for their own good. Like Pierce has said, this is unprecedented. When we, did you hear people every year, government is advertising and, and, and they are employing, not just in the Ministry of Health, but all, in all the sectors. Hmm? So, there will be more announcements, not from the Ministry, from, from Health, from all the Ministry, you will hear the announcements concerning employment this year. So, I hope that uh, this process will make you stronger, will make you better. And for myself, I can tell you that this process is making me stronger and much more wiser. So thank you very much. You can come here anytime. When you have issues, you are free to come. Okay? You are free to go to any of the offices. This is your office. Okay? Yes, okay. And you are free to continue as the, as the what? As the, uh, uh, what, what do you call your age? You are free to, to as the volunteers, but you will not be employed.